basically, uh, we, we finished up on PGR4 and we really like had all these great ideas for a brand new racing franchise and we've been wanting to tackle something like this for years and years and years at Bazaar. And finally, joining Activision gave us the opportunity to work on something brand new, something really, really exciting and fun and apply all the things that we had sort of put on the back burner when we were doing the PGR games what we are doing is sort of applying lots of lessons that we've learned from that to Blur. So there's going to be lots in the game that PGR fans will like, you know, it's not something that we're, we've got loads and loads of fans and we talk to them on our forums and we keep them really, really well informed. So we're building Blur for them as well as an accessible experience for everyone else. We're not hanging anyone out to dry. So Blur is a lot different from the PGR series. We've added uh, things like a storyline into a racing game, which is, uh, again, something that you haven't normally uh, seen in races. Power-ups in the game as well. But we've kept a lot of familiar things from the PGR series and, and stuff that we've done before, lessons learned from PGR. So we've always been good at licensed vehicles, uh, looking uh, like real-world environments and, and really good-looking uh, graphics and sound uh, we've kept that as well uh, and our physics model and our car dynamics are still like in that same sort of accessible but deep area that PGR sat in so there should be enough new stuff to keep it interesting and mix it up but enough familiar stuff for people to come back to it we wanted all of our power-ups to augment your racing skill, to really like help you race better rather than race for you, if you know what I mean. So the example that, uh, that I've been given is uh, the shunt power-up, which is sort of like a missile that fires forward out of your car. If you shoot someone, if you use a shunt and shoot them on the back left or back right of the vehicle, they'll actually spin out, as you'd expect. But if you hit them on the back bumper, sort of dead on, it'll just give them a little push and a little boost in the right direction. So, you know, they can literally, if they're used incorrectly, they can benefit the opposition as well as, you know, helping you. We knew the car manufacturers were going to be, you know, sort of like, you're doing what with our cars? Uh, so we, right from the very word go, we, we had sort of like a very experienced licensing team in place for this. But we decided, you know, we said we're always going to have car damage. We're always going to have these particular power-ups. We're always going to have fire in the engine compartment, things like that. We, we haven't done before at all and said, look, you're in or you're not in. And that's it. And we lost a couple of manufacturers like that, but we've kept the vast majority of people who want to be in the game aren't going to be awkward about, you know, all these things. So the handling is is very much uh, PGR-esque. Uh, we've sort of approached the handling in a slightly different way in that the car set sort of reflects that handling. So if you pick a really sort of grippy car, then that is more accessible. That's something new to blur. If you pick a more PGR-esque car, like for example the Dodge Challenger, that's all really, really slidey, you know, that's gonna handle in the same way as PGR. And that same physics model and dynamics model and AI model is there from the PGR games. So we've we've built on that experience. We're not gonna just sort of dumb it down and make it really sort of like, you know, Mario Kart-esque. What we're gonna do is keep those people that we know really enjoy PGR and bring them to Blur as well. But what we didn't want was like uh, sort of the cheesy stuff that you get with storylines, like girls in mini skirts and guys with a cap on backwards and like cutscenes and Z-list celebrities. Not we didn't want any of that crap. What we wanted was a platform to deliver the storyline that was like believable and and was familiar to people who already communicate with their friends. And a social network was a brilliant way of achieving that. You can send messages backwards and forwards. You can challenge people and invite people to groups and stuff. But it's all based around the racing and it's all sort of believable and that's really what we want to do with it make it not cheesy and make it like still applicable to the game the beauty of it is that we've got this uh, thing called custom groups in the game that essentially let you tailor the game to however you want to play it if you want to lock it to a certain car lock it to a certain track um, change the rules and award points in different ways so you can have last man standing or you can have sort of a micro machine style thing so if you get a certain distance in front of the second place player you get a point stuff like that you can basically define right down to the barest level how your game will play out you can save that to the social network upload it and then all your friends can join your group and play the game in the way that you want to play blur is launching for xbox 360 ps3 and pc and it's planned to launch this fall